Hello everyone, my name is Rebecca Grace and today we are going to look at how to add a colored text block overlapping a parallelix background. So something like this where the text block is overlapping a picture and some white space beside it and you can see that the background kind of moves um, but the block stays in the center. Um, so we're going to look at how to add that today. So the first thing you'll need to do is actually create your images. And the effect that actually allows it to do this is this white space underneath is part of this picture above. So it looks like it's two different sections, but really part of this white space here is part of this image above it. And this green block here is actually an image as well. So the first thing we're going to do is create those images. And I'm going to use a website called Canva. If you're not familiar with Canva, it is a great resource for designing um, basically anything, but I use it a lot in my business. It is free. Um, there is obviously um, things that you can buy, you can purchase or upgrade to have different features, but the free one actually does quite a bit and I use it a lot. So to create our banner image, we're going to go down here to custom dimensions and I recommend using 2000 by 1500 for your banners that go all the way across. So the first thing we're going to do is go to upload and you're going to upload the image that you want as your background. I already have some uploaded, so I'm just going to use this uploaded image. I click on it and it will come here. You'll then want to drag it to the side so it fills up all the way across and then you're going to make it a height of 900. This is a good base number to start with. Once you put it on your site, you may want to play with this height a little bit to have the effect that you like. I'm then going to double click on the image and that way I can drag it to position and crop it how I would like. Once you're happy with it, you're going to click on this little arrow and I'm going to download it as a JPEG. I'm going to double click here to open it up and double click on here to rename it. Now you will want to rename it something that is authentic to the image, to you, to your website. Throw in some keywords um, for SEO purposes. So what are some words people are going to use to search your business and you, if you want to put some in there, but do not just make it a list of keywords, make it make sense and not too long. Um, or else Google will see it as sort of a bad thing. Um, but they do look at titles to kind of see uh, what the image is about. So throw in some keywords there if you can. I'm just going to call it home banner image um, because this is just a test site. Um, but you'll want to name it something unique to you. The other thing you'll want to do if you have a Mac, this is fairly simple to do, is check the size. So we're going to go to tools, adjust size. And what I'm looking for is that this number here is less than 500 kilobytes. If it's more than 500, you'll want to readjust or minimize, compress this image, or it may affect your page loading times and therefore your SEO and user experience. So make sure that you're, it's underneath 500 there. But we're all good. Okay. Now I'm also going to create that background color for my text block. So what I'm going to do is again, go back to Canva, custom dimensions, and this time I'm going to make it 800 by 500. Again, you can play with these sizes to get the effect you want, but this is a good um, starting base for you. And then I'm just going to click on here and change the background color to whatever color I want behind my text. So I'm gonna click add uses hexadecimal codes. So this is a color that will match that mountain scenery nicely, but you may want to use uh, some sort of, you know, your whatever brand color you have or a color that matches nice to the image that you've chosen. And click on the arrow and download it as a JPEG. Repeat that process from before, open it up, Name it something with some keywords. I'm just gonna call it green background for now. Okay. 
go to tools, adjust size, and just double check that it's less than 500. This one is 10, so that's perfect. Once you have your images, we actually have to add them now to your site. So we're going to go back to your site, go to pages, okay, and I'm going to start from fresh. So what I've done is I've clicked the button here and added an index page. That's so that you can have different sections as you go down a page. And then I'm going to add just some blank pages. I'm just going to name them home banner and home information. And that just has one page that now has two separate sections and you can keep adding sections as you like going down the page. Okay. In the home banner section, so you'll see it says home banner. I'm gonna click on banner here and add my banner image. It should load pretty fast. If it takes too long, it's an indicator that your image is too big. It may slow down your website. Click save. Then we're going to hover over top, click edit. Click here to add a poster image block. And we're going to upload that green background. Again, it should load quite fast. Okay. On design, make sure it's on poster. Then if you like, you can add a link. Let's add a button that says sign up. And then, you know, link to a sign up page. You can also add an animation if you like. I'm not going to add one. To make this block smaller, we're going to add some spacer blocks on each side. So I'm going to click over here and add a spacer block. I'm actually going to add two, one for each side. Then I'm going to click and drag the spacer block until that black line is on the side. You'll notice if I go up here, it's above. I want it on the side. Then I'm going to drag the other one to the other side. And then you can play with the sizes of these. Make it whatever size you like here. Click on your image block and add in the text you would like, the title here, and some subtitle here, your sign up, and click save. Okay, so now you have your two blocks added. You'll want to then go back to the home page, design, site styles, hover over top this section and click. Make sure you have Parallax enabled, and you may want to see if Smart Crop uh, looks better for you. For me, I like that it kind of zooms the picture out a little bit, so I'm going to add Smart Crop. And you may want to make sure that there is no overlay color. So click to have this all the way to the side, so it's 0, 0, 0. The reason for that is the next section below also has a white background. And so if this has an overlay over top, it's also going to add an overlay to this white section. And you'll be able to tell that these are two different sections. And what makes this effect so cool is it looks like the section stops here. So if I have an overlay over top, that's going to kind of ruin that effect. Um, but it's, again, it's up to you whether you want to have an overlay color or not. I suggest not. Let's go back to our page. Okay. And then you'll want to just play with um, the sizes here. So for instance, we can go into the banner and we can change where this white circle is. That will tell us where the image is going to kind of focus. So if you want your white lower down on the page, then just bring this up. If you want the white higher, then bring it lower and so on. I'm going to bring it up just a little bit. that my mountain shows more here. Okay. Then you can play with um, the blocks here, maybe add a spacer block all the way across. So I'm going to 
make sure that I'm hovering over top the one that has the black line going all the way across the screen. And I'm going to add a spacer block above just to push that text block just a little bit lower. Okay. You may also want to play with your image and how much white space is there. So here I might want to bring this up a little bit, for instance, um, just so that the white space shows up more here. So you'll want to play with how much white space you have here, spacer blocks, where the image zooms in, and so on, um, to have the block positioned where you want. Um, but essentially, that is how you add a color text block over top of a parallel image.